evening. I'm Dan Jackman. I'm Roy Leakes. We're with Kentucky Anna Fly Tires, and tonight Roy's going to show you a pattern called the Bronze Goddess. It's a great little streamer pattern, uh, good for all kinds of fishing. And why don't you tell us a little about it? It's primarily, the guy that told me about it, it's a smallmouth fly. Uh, certainly, it would work for largemouth bass and brown trout and probably catfish and anything else that comes along in, in, in the stream. Um, this is an old style streamer type fly that would be fished on the swing or you could drag it across the bottom through the bottom of the hole or like I, I like to fish it bouncing around in the rocks. Um, it's a nice fly and for a lot of different purposes. Uh, really great for the little smallmouth streams we have in Kentucky. What size hook you going to tie it on? I'm going to tie it on a size 4. Uh, this particular hook is a TMCO 200R. Uh, I think Orbis makes one a 1510. Mm -hmm. It's tied on a 4 or a 6. I think that this particular pattern will be great in our Cumberland River. Yes. For everything that swims down there. Uh, I wouldn't be a bit surprised you couldn't catch a carp on this. Uh, the thread I'm using is a uh, size 140 you know, a brown UTC thread. I'm going to start right behind the eye of the hook and take the thread back about four eyes, eye lengths. And trim it off. I don't like to crowd the eye. I see these tied up close to the eye, but I like to back it up a little bit because at the end we're going to be using this uh, he says our cactus chenille and it really gets busy toward the front. Uh, the weight is, did I give you any of these? I probably didn't. It's uh, a lead hourglass eye. I don't have any bigger ones. Is there a, a small particular size? One. This is a size small. It comes in a black, it's painted black. The ones out by are always painted black and this one has been uh, painted mm -hmm. with fingernail polish. This is what I would call a, a bronze colored fingernail polish. This is actually called Brown Alicious, which is a Milani, just like nail lacquer. Uh, you can find something like it. I would call it, it's a, a brown metallic color. Um, I usually will I'll, I'll tie the. I'll paint these while I'm tying other flies. So I'll put a couple of them in a in a bobby pin, and put a layer of the of the brown on them, and set them off to the side, and tie a fly, and then bring it back, and I'll finish it off with a bottle of, with a little hard. What Sally Hansen hard as nails mm -hmm. uh, makes it a little bit more durable, makes the color a little more durable. Yeah. I'll paint over them. I'll set it off to the side, tie another fly, and then you're ready to take them out of the barb. Uh, and you know you don't you don't need a whole box full of these flies usually three or four so you know I, I keep a few on hand so I'm always ready to tie a few but you uh, that, that's really all of them that, that you need and this is a good size it's a good and color too I'm gonna tie it on Whoop. Now tying it on top, the shank of the hook, is that going to make the hook right upside down? Yes, it is. There you go. Keeps it That's how I can throw it in the rocks and drag it across the bottom. I'm going to go around to tighten it up, then go back across the top, cross hatch it back and forth. Figure eight, I think it's called, several times. And at this point, if you want to you can glue it down, but I don't usually. We're going to put so much stuff on this hook, it'll really hold it in place. Now, I've seen these tied with a red eye um, or a bright eye. Uh, I think of it as more as a dark, a dark fly. I don't use those colored eyes. If you want to do that, it certainly would be okay. Um, I saw someone on the internet just the other day tied with red eyes. But I like the dark eye. I'm going to take the thread back almost to where the bar would have been in the back. Uh, at this point, I'm going to use brown marabou. 
piece about the length of the hook. Wetting it helps. I'm going to wet it, yes. If you don't like doing it this way, of course, you can just have a little bowl of water on it. Makes it a lot easier to, to handle it. And I'm getting tight. And then I take the thread to behind the eyes. So gonna make it give it a little bulk to the body. And take the thread back. Sign point. Cut off the mirror boot if I can find the end of it. I think I got a little carried away. Another brown marabou. And I'm going to take a piece of copper flashaboo. This is actually called speckled, I think. Speckled copper flashaboo. Speckled. All right, I've got two strands and I fold them over, cut them in half, so now I've got four half lengths. I'm going to get in about the middle of it, tie it in on the other side, the outside of the fly, I hope. That's my intention anyway. Want four of them on the other side. I can get the other four together. I'm gonna to bring them over to my side. And of course they're too long now. You can cut them off at this point to the same length as the tail, or you can do it later. And I've got a size medium copper wire. Got a piece of it about six inches long. I'm gonna tie it in on my side of the hook. This is just brown hackle. Uh, brown grizzly would be really nice, but I have a lot of trouble finding brown grizzly. I think it just makes a two tone and it, it will work fine. I'm not sure if the fish care because it's going to have another piece on top of it. I'm going to tie it in on top by its tip. At this point, things start wanting to get in the front. Then we've got the root beer, he says. Or what's another brand that we see this in so much? Crystal of its, uh, you know, there's another brand of it on the market. I'm going to cut some of the fibers off the end of it. Otherwise, you can't get a good grip on it. And this stuff doesn't strip off of here like your normal chenille will. Okay, you don't see anything else laying around, do you? I think I've got it all now. Wire, heckle. I should do it. Money. I'm going to take the thread back forward and bring it back right in behind the eyes again. I'm going to 
unwind. There should go forward. And the tail wants to get in front now. Finish it, put tie behind the eye, keep the chenille on the bottom. You're not going to cut it off? Not going to cut it off, no. Do not cut You're it not off. You're not done with it yet. Okay. I'm going to wrap our hackle. Just about like you would on a woolly burger. Or Palmer it up. Just palm it right on up to the little more bulk to the body. Got it behind the eye. And I am going to cut it off. Now. Okay. I'm going to take, get all of our tail out of the way. And counterwind the wire forward. I'm going to wiggle it so that it doesn't Hold our fibers down. And I wrap behind the eye. If you get the wire tied down good and tight, you should be able to just helicopter it off. Yep, it worked. Okay. Now, it's a piece of uh, wood dot, wood duck, excuse me, wood duck colored uh, mallard flank. But, you know, we we use this because it has a little heavier barring on it than the regular wood duck flank, which of course does come in the same color, and we do have uses for the wood duck flank. We're just removing this the fuzz. One, taking the fuzz off the bottom of it. We're going to tie it in like I tie soft tackles. So we're going to tie it in by the tip. So we're going to, whoops, I just about destroyed the feather that quickly. So we've got the tip of it. We pulled the rest of the now we're going to lay it right on top so that the little the joint between the two is right at the joint, the back of the eye. Oh, okay. Okay. Hopefully we've got it in there good and tight because it will it does try to pull out. Now that I've cut it off short, if it pulls out, it's gone. Right. The tip. I'm going to preen the feathers back. 
Let me just go around it. Basically one time. Of course, I actually just did it two times. With the bare stem in one of them. Steam out of it. Pull the barbules back. Probably a place for Buddy's toothbrush. Well, do you have a black lab? No, I don't. So yeah, I don't have a toothbrush. Take my thread to the front. Now, got the chenille on the bottom. We're going to cross it over the top. Come around the other side and bring it over the top. Just a little figure eight it. Wavered fibers. The chenille, there's always a few of those. Tie in the head. Use my rat matterelli tool. Same length. There it is, a bronze goddess. It's a good looking fly. And yes, I'll put a drop of head cement on it. Make sure it doesn't unravel. So when I'm catching big small mouths, I can use it over and over. Enjoyed this fly that Roy tied tonight. This bronze goddess. It's a uh, it's a great looking fly. And if you uh, enjoy it, we hope to see you next month. We'll present you a new fly. And come out and see us at the paddock Orvis on the second Thursday of the month, 6 p.m. Uh, for a get together and enjoy some fly tying. It's a nice fly, and for a lot of different purposes. I'm really great for the little small mouth streams we have in Kentucky. What's that,